Yep, looks like it's working. Hey, the full fox, welcome. Whoops, got my wires tangled up. Alright, I got this free on Epic last week, so I might as well play it. I already had it on Steam, but the Epic one has more content. has, like, the season pass or something, which I mean, probably won't even use, but... But, um... Actually, I'm wondering if I should play the Steam one. Well, I've already installed the Epic one, so let's, let's use the Epic one. At least Steam, I can get achievements and stuff, but... Not a big deal. Uh, difficulty? Aim assistance, god. Who, who plays with aim assistance? Come on. Um... Let's just go with medium, really. I think upgrades being more expensive will just make it more tedious rather than fun. Either way, I don't really play these Tomb, Tomb Raider games for the challenge, more for the story. Experience to face the unknown. As children, we question the world around us. We learn, we accept, and gradually we lose our capacity for wonder. But some do not. The explorers, the seekers of truth. It is these pioneers who define the future of mankind. That's a dodgy place to stand. Money's gonna get him through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's gonna be a hell of a climb. I'm not turning back. I know. <laughs> you should stay here with them. Not a chance. She looks different to the previous game. Is she older? Man, that doesn't look... Is that really how you climb those things? That looks so dodgy. Yeah, I would say so. So I don't think we need to actually remember any of the story from the previous games. Good, because I, I forgot everything. We'll have a good view of the valley beyond from the summit. We are uh, a girl with like no combat experience, like medium fitness, who just happens to be able to take on swarms of armored soldiers with her bow and arrow. That's that's the story basically. Anything up here, your dad would be proud. I know, but I have a good feeling about this. Oh, don't walk off. Can I walk off? Well, I had to try. Oh, shit. You okay? This is so dangerous. Come on, there's got to be a better way of scaling this.
No, don't. First death. What is that jump? What? Yeah, you'd think so. <laughs> How do you even jump up like that? That doesn't make sense. Oh, I guess she had a foothold, but... Come on, I should be able to go up that bit there. See, this snow is gonna make... My stream really pixelated, I think. <laughs> Hopefully the... Oops. Hopefully the bitrate can c keep up with it. I hope there's not too much snow in the game, though. That's gonna... What am I supposed to press here? Oh, I see. You... Is it? Does it look bad? Can you make out things? I can actually up the bitrate, actually. I can push it up to about... Um, 7,000, let's say. I don't know if that's actually going to happen midstream, though. It might, might only happen if I can stop and start the stream again. Yeah, let's jump. And risk the whole ledge collapsing. Like, I would not even stand on this ledge. Like, this whole ledge could just collapse. What do you think? We're close to something, Jonah. I can feel it. Just as last stretch to the top. Alright. Let's see what's up there. What did he attach? Are they tethered together? Okay. But he's bigger than me, so what's gonna happen when he falls? Looks like we climb from here. Keep your eyes open for falling ice. Right. You ready? Let's do it. Wait, what is the purpose of tethering them together? Like if one falls, both of them fall, so well, I guess if Laura falls, he can probably hold up. But not the other way around, so... Then again, she is super humanly strong for, for no explained reason, so... Yeah, she's not going slow at all. Oh my god. It's a trust thing. <laughs> I trust physics, that's what I trust. <laughs> Can't even turn the camera to see him.
Really, Lara? You can make that? <sighs> Alright, Lara. I trust you. Jesus. Got me some slack, bro. Almost there, Laura. You got it. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Laura, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna pull you back up. I guess that's why we tethered. Come on, dude, you're supposed to be the strong guy. Is he gonna die? I, why do I feel like he's gonna die? And this is probably going to look terrible on stream. <laughs> I'll have to watch this later. It's probably just going to be a blurry mess. Oh, one of these sliding levels. I remember these from the first game. Always at the very tip. Oh my god, oh my god. Second death. This game is the graphics are amazingly well optimized. That was true for the first game as well. Like, you know, I was playing Black Mesa last, and it was stuttering like crazy. And it's and this is more chaotic with a lot more action and stuff going on. And it's perfectly smooth. But I mean, it's more high budget. That's not surprising. She enjoys this. She just enjoys inflicting pain on herself. Man, the first game was just a, a death simulator. Like, it, it was a game where you could experience death in every possible way a human can die. We're in London now? So this is before she took the trip. That we're all too swiftly taken from it. We age, we decay, we die. But what do we leave behind? Bones? 
dust? What of the soul? Does it endure beyond our earthly existence? I believe it does. A truth lies at the heart of many myths and Holy stories. Grail. A truth not of science, but something more profound. The key to unlocking everlasting life. I may have found the next piece to the puzzle, but I'm not alone in this search. They're following me, watching my every step. I know them by name now. Trinity. An ancient, violent sect with designs on controlling the future of humanity. I must proceed carefully for the sake of my family. If anything were to ever happen to Lara or Anna, I could never forgive myself. Nice green screen. <laughs> Thank you. It's me, Anna. Oh God, I'm so sorry. What are you doing here? Anna is her mother. Was attacking you again. I thought you could use some company. Another crazy prophet. Were you followed? followed of course not what's going on i think i found the tomb oh you can't be serious the myth of the prophet is real dad was right lara your father was unwell no he was close to a great discovery tangible evidence of the immortal soul i loved richard i would have married him if he'd asked but he was a broken man. I don't want to see you end up like him. But Anna, he was right. It was everyone else who was wrong. Tombs in Syria. Syria? Oh God, Laura, no. This is madness. Get your life sorted. Go home to the manor. You know I can't go back there. But this obsession ruined your father. I would like to see the manor. <laughs> Man, it was great fun in the PlayStation games. The manor. Locking the butler in the fridge. Now I understand what Dad was going through. It's all fairy tales. The obstacle course. Nonsense. Don't go down this road. You know where it leads. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going to find the prophet's tomb. Going to find the Prophet's tomb. Okay. Don't really get much of a sense for what it is we're actually looking for, but clearly she's passionate about it. Hey, we're heading into a war zone now. You better be sure about this. We're close. There should be an oasis in the canyon just ahead. You're wasting your time. There's nothing out here. Just keep driving, please. It's your money. Something isn't right. Oh, that's just local militia. You told someone, didn't you? They, they paid better than you. No, oh, for goodness sake. He was right, everyone else was wrong. Oh, 
Okay. So I assume this is before the icy mountain slope. Why do cars always blow up? They don't blow up in real life like that. <laughs> Northwest border of Syria. No turning back. It has to be here. Well, good thing we're Lara, who's indestructible. She's not even covering her arms. It's like <laughs> she can withstand anything. Bullets. Okay, so she's dizzy. Um, let's not walk near the edge. There was something in Dad's research about this. It was said the Prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the Prophet was laid to rest. Is there a war going on there? Yeah, real smart time to visit Syria. Well, I mean, it's Syria. There's probably always conflicts going on. She has her ice pick with her. Is that is that even gonna work against rock? Like rock is really tough. I can't imagine you can just ice pick it. Ice, I can understand, but rock? Yeah, no, I don't believe that. A religious icon. Detailed and inlaid with gems. It looks Byzantine, perhaps 10th century. It's with the legend of the prophet. Such an odd place for it to be sitting. Could this really be it? Look at that hair physics. It's actually pretty impressive. Look, it rests on her shoulder and everything. A thousand years old, at least. It all lines up. I think Witcher, Witcher 3 also has some pretty good hair physics. Look at that, that's, that is actually very impressive. <laughs> um, no, don't go back out, what are you doing? Let's try that again, shall we? No lag. Are you still getting any lag for the stream? Incredible. I'm getting zero lag on the game, so I I, I think it's. Uh, but I do have a very high bit rate for the stream, so I can I can expect it might lag a bit on Twitch. Okay, so, um... Okay, he's shown here, performing healing miracles. Dad's notes mention this. Uh, 
to increase language skill. <laughs> Fine. We now have more language skill. Seems to be a map of some sort, but I can't quite read the words. Ah, oh, so we have to look at more murals to improve our language skill. Wait, 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 wait. How are we improving our language skill if there's nothing written here? It's literally just an image. Oh no, okay, there's there's stuff written up there. <sighs> it's still a bit. He led his followers through the desert to the oasis. So we're learning Greek in a matter of seconds. Level 1 Greek. Wow. <laughs> hungry, hungry caterpillar. Great book, great book. Oh man, that's actually blinding. Wait, 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 go back in. Go back in. There was one path I didn't check. Gotta check all the paths. Okay, there was this path down here. Oh no, that's where it came from. Okay, fine. But there was one thing I couldn't translate. Uh, what was it? It was this thing in the center. So, okay, so that's marked that thing on the map. Okay. It's amazing. If only Dad could have seen this. That is pretty amazing. Oh, don't, don't fall off. Can you actually fall off? She doesn't actually walk off. <laughs> That's really generous. <laughs> but where was that coin cash? Wait, 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 come on. Let's go back. The coin cash, we missed it. Coins. <clears throat> Alright then. Scramble mid jump up flat walls, okay. <laughs> uh, 
I died before I even fell. What? Is she still injured? This is... <sighs> what did I do wrong there? I didn't get right to the edge before I jumped. Oops. Am I actually supposed to jump here? Yeah, okay. Oh, sh mosquitoes. Something is going to jump out. I feel like something is going to jump out and scare us. Damn it. Come on. Okay, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> you always got to have a jump scare. Man, there's scorpions everywhere. Play uh, Valheim. These little bastards are the bane of my existence. Mosquitoes? Interesting, I've never encountered mosquitoes as an enemy in a game. Received word that the Prophet's followers are building a great tomb at an oasis outside Berea. But more upsetting, while we thought they were building the tomb for their Prophet, Trinity now believes he still lives. We have learned he is preaching his heresy. The Prophet slain <sighs> by the Order of Trinity. Greek, we're learning Greek. <laughs> Gonna be level two Greek. Couldn't she have done this before she went on her trip? Um That was too close. You say too close, but it looks like it's right in okay, no, maybe not. It was quite close. Aim weapons to shoot. I mean, couldn't I have just, like, hit it with a rock or something? I don't think... 
needs it to use bullets. They're blasting their way in. Bloody mosquito. Come on, I put spray on. They're not obeying the rules of the spray. This is not smart. And also, the water is going through us. Just saying. Yeah, yeah. Don't open this wall. Okay. That wasn't too bad. I thought it was just gonna jet us. Now we're swimming in sludge. What you need is a tank of carbon dioxide that sprays constantly and put it on the other side of the deck. Totally that works like 10% of the time. There's a skull on that shelf, just... Okay. Navigate to the top of the main tomb chamber. Okay, jump. What did that do? Oh, it opened the gates. Okay. Um, okay. It's like a water level puzzle. It just seemed really odd, that skull. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to turn my light off now. Spike trap, you didn't get me this time. Damn, they're almost inside. My lord, 
What you say is impossible. I myself drove a spear into the Prophet's heart. Then you have a mosquito candle or something. Probably should get one, shouldn't they? Yeah, it's better than using spray. If it's not effective, though, I'll stick to using spray. But... Head of a small army of the faithful, armed and ready. And I have good news. We have located the tomb of the Prophet. We were attacked by madmen upon the road wearing the Prophet's livery. Okay. This looks safe. Oh, the water goes back down. If you consider this Seda helmet. What's that? Set, like the like the tree? Does that Um Get rid of mosquitoes or something? Um, what am I trying to do here? Ah. I think I'm trying to get I'm supposed to keep stuff like moths and ants out of your closet. Okay. Well, I don't have any issues with moths or ants. Not only mosquitoes. Am I supposed to move this? I feel like I should be putting it over. Yeah, but she doesn't move it very well. Oh, and it moves by itself. Okay. Oh, so it goes over there. Ah, and that gets us here. Oh, 
There's another skull. <laughs> what? Okay. No, 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 don't open it. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play games with me. You've led us to this place. Look, it was empty when I got here. There was no body and definitely no artifact. <laughs> oh. Now we now it's a shooter, okay? Can I loot their bodies? No, no time, no time. Never mind. Oh my god. Right, I didn't press jump at the right time apparently. Surrey, England. Don't think I've ever been to Surrey. This is all still the prologue, isn't it? Jonah. Laura. There's so 
much I need to tell you. I don't... Did you find the Prophet's tomb? Yes, but I was followed. What? By who? They call themselves Trinity. They tried to kill me. What the hell is going on here? You're starting to scare me. The tomb was empty. I think they were looking for the divine source. The, the artifact your father was after? There's more. I found this symbol in the tomb. I knew I'd seen it before. It was driving me insane. That's when it hit me. I saw it here, in one of Dad's books. Listen to this. The lost city of Katesh, said to have disappeared in Siberia sometime in the 12th century. Legend says that on the eve of the invasion by the Mongol horde, it sunk beneath a lake. What does this have to do with the Prophet's artifact? The same symbol. Laura. <laughs> if the divine source is hidden in the ruins of Katesh, waiting to be found, then I have to go. To Siberia? Are you kidding me? Just think. If this thing could really unlock the secret of immortality, it would... It would change everything. Sickness, suffering, death, mm. gone. Would it? Are you listening to yourself? Jonah, we've been through so much. Maybe. Today. You know there's more out there. This could be real. I don't care if it's real. I've lost too many friends. I don't want to lose you too. Dad never made the connection to Katash. He gave up everything for this. Including you. Stop blaming yourself for what happened. He made his own bed. I can't give up on him. <laughs> Not now. It's all I have. No, it isn't. If you stayed still for five minutes, maybe you'd see that. He's so negative. Come on, this is her life's passion. She's happy to risk her life for it. And why is she so upset? She doesn't need his approval. Just go. <laughs> Jonah? <laughs> Wanting to wait, what is she his girlfriend? I don't think she's his girlfriend, I think they're just friends. I think I think she mentioned that he's a friend at some point. Shit, Laura, what are we gonna do? I led them to it, Jonah. If the divine source is real. Either way, if he chose to um, be friends or go for a boyfriend with someone who does this for a living, he knew what he signed up for. <laughs> oh, okay, now he's on board. I, I don't get the impression she's ever going to have a boyfriend. She's too <laughs> busy in life. <laughs> Going on too many adventures and stuff. Jonah. So now we're in the present. Okay. Jonah, if you can hear me, go back. Please don't try to find me. Of course he's not going to do that. I need to do this alone. Or well, she's going to get hypothermia. Put your hood on. She doesn't have a hood. Fine, really? Shelter. Who goes to Siberia without a hat or a hood? 
someone who wants to show their glorious hair. That's that's who want to show their hair physics as their hair bounces off their shoulders. Doesn't have earmuffs. <laughs> okay, this might work. No sparkles, just saying. Not enough to last the night. Oh, need to gather more. Man, I thought those dogs were in re in were in real life for a second. I wouldn't be surprised. There's a lot of dogs on this beach. I have a cam. Oh, there, okay. The fire is not going to last. How? We're not going to be able to keep the fire going. Look how much wind there is. It's just going to get blown out. wouldn't eat that. Well, it seems alright. I mean, it's preserved by the cold, and it's a recent kill, so should be fine, really. I mean, she's gonna cook it first. Oh, she's making a bow. Going to need a stronger bow. Wait, a stronger bow? I had a bow already. So familiar. Like looking an old enemy in the eye. It wants to take me down. It wants me to just lie down and die. But I won't. I can't. There's something here. There must be, or Trinity wouldn't be in the snowy hell. I just hope that Jonah is okay. That he found the way back. I... I just couldn't risk having him with me. Not again. The pain of losing him, that would be too much to bear. This is my path, and mine alone. Okay. So we need... What is that resource? Paper? So we need hides and whatever that is to upgrade more... Screws? Gears? We need a pig. <laughs> Probably like boar fat or something. What is that resource? We got all kinds of outfits. I 
could just imagine her now, like, standing in front of a block of ice, trying on all these outfits, seeing what looks good. Why does it take so long to load? Come on. Yeah, that does not look very warm at all. <laughs> Oh, these have bonuses. So, outfit bonus. Non-predatory animals scare less easy. So it's easier to catch animals. All damage from predatory animals decreased. That's better. Um, what else? Chance of looting an exotic animal resource from a common animal. That might be good, actually. Reduces damage from Greek fire. Greek fire? Is that different from regular fire? Firing arrows sometimes won't reduce the count of available ammo, so it saves you ammo. Okay. Reduces the delay before health begins regenerated when damaged. Firing bullets sometimes won't reduce the count. So why does this outfit make you sometimes not waste bullets? <laughs> Hood. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Ah, but you got to see the air physics that they spent all that money on. Increased carrying capacity of all special ammunition. Leather jacket doesn't do anything. All right, I'm I'm either gonna go for chance of looting an exotic animal resource, or reduces the delay before health begins. So if I have difficulty, then maybe I can switch to this one. For now, I'll go with this one. Chance of ex looting an exotic animal resource, because clearly I need resources. Does it have a hood? It's got a scarf. I guess that's something. Okie doke. Oh, 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 hang on. What's this? Ah, so that's cloth. Herbs, hide, salvage mushrooms, hardwood, feathers, oil, boar fat, deer antler, exotic hive. Cool. Skills. Hand-to-hand -hand combat and healing abilities. Hunting and scavenging abilities. Crafting and exploration abilities. I don't know. Let's have a look at all these. Pick less damage from enemy gunfire and melee attacks. I think... That we got to get at some point. Less damage from explosions of fire. Not normally a big deal. You don't get hit by explosions of fire much in games in general, in my experience. But I don't know about this one. Capacitate on armored enemies while dodging with a well-timed press up. I don't know. Enemies killed while in stealth will be automatically looted for resources. I don't know. Let's have a look at these. Recover arrows. Yeah, her eyes are shiny. <laughs> Increase steady aim time on bow charge shots. Increase the amount of ammunition loaded from enemy corpses. Easier to track animals. And then we've got survivor. Faster crafting when on the run. You can craft while you're on the run. Well, I don't plan on really doing that. Enemies killed or knocked out from crafted handheld objects yield more XP. Okay. Big bombs. Can jump from bigger heights. Might be useful at some point. Earn bonus XP from survival cache, documents, relics, and challenges. I might as well get this one now. Because it's going to accumulate bonus XP for the rest of the game.
Let's just go for this, get the bonus XP. Quivers, satchels, bandoliers, ammo pouches, cool. Silent arrows. Well, I need lots of stuff to be able to make stuff, so... Taking less 4 damage doesn't make much sense, but what I've seen in this game doesn't exactly look like a sandbox. I think we're still kind of in the linear, like in the prologue, but if it's like the first game, uh, after you've finished the prologue, it's like open world, you can like travel everywhere and have like different approaches to different areas. So it might have been designed around that being useful, but Let's see. Okay, can I not climb that? Maybe not. Cloth. What do I do about this? Feathers, okay. Bark. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Okay. <laughs> That's lunch. Dessert. Let's just collect all this crap. Caught herself a fawn. Poor thing. But we need to survive. <clears throat> it's for survival. Actually, it's for making ammo pouches, I think. So it's not really for my survival.
Hang on the side door, okay. Fine. Um... Alright, I probably won't be playing for much longer because it's like pitch black. I have learned all I can from the carnage inside the Prophet's tomb. My brothers were slain to the last man sometime within the last few Order of Trinity has been around for a long time apparently. Catch another deer. It's with all these ropes. Except for ammo bags, that's okay then. It's like um Far Cry 3. That game was ridiculous. Like you would you would hunt down like endangered white sharks just so you could make a bigger rocket launcher sling which could carry like one more rocket. <laughs> that game just went over the top with killing endangered animals. Because apparently you can only make a rocket launcher sling out of endangered great white shark skin. Prince of Prince Princes of Kiev. Aren't you supposed to turn off all light when it gets that dark? What do you mean? Why would I turn off all light? Examine to find hidden information. What do they mean by examine to find hidden information? What am I examining? Am I supposed to look something on this? Did you not get turtles there? Trinity. No. Not here, no. They do, I mean... If, they, if we do, they don't come this far. The water's too shallow here. The only thing I see is jellyfish sometimes. Jellyfish are quite dangerous. There was a nine-year-old kid a couple of months back. He got killed by a jellyfish just down the road, actually. That direction. But I never go in the sea. But um, what would light do? Does light harm them? Like, does light kind of mess up their sleep cycle or something? Yeah, it was pretty... It was national news because it doesn't actually happen that often. Like... Maybe there's one death every couple of years. Um, this was a nine-year-old kid, though, so that I mean, it's pretty tragic. Um, but yeah, jellyfish, box jellyfish specifically, nasty stuff. I mean, an adult, it probably would probably wouldn't die because their bodies are bigger. Um, but you still need to. When turtles hatch, they head towards the light. Ah, oh, right, okay. So if I want turtle soup, 
I should just switch on the light and wait for them to come. This is fun, collecting items. I'm not sure what I want to use the items for right now. Damn it. Did I go in this cave? No, I didn't. Use guns or explosives to destroy impact barriers. What happened to my gun? Oh, I didn't have a gun in this Siberia level, in this area. Okay, I'll have to come back next time. Well, yes. We get yelled at. <laughs> Damn it, stay still. Enough eight K mags on you. <laughs> Mongolian script. I can't quite piece it together. Mongolian. Now we have to learn Mongolian by looking at murals, okay? Oh, there's a nest up there. Guess we gotta go up there. How do I get up there? Look at that red sky. That better not be for eating or you're gonna get cancelled again. Wait, what? Wait, what are you referring to? Get up there. Okay, I gotta go over here. On Twitter. Huh? Right, if I shoot from this angle. Oh no, that's a blue cache. I definitely need to get up there. So the only way to get up there, well, there's a branch there. So I have to kind of Assassin's Creed it. What was in the box? What's in the box? Okay. Um, still don't know Mongolian. Shall we actually um, play the game now?
Uh oh. We lost contact. Bear. Oh great, I got struck. The thing is, bears don't normally attack you unless you're like, you know, endangering their babies or something. But in video games, bears always attack you. Okay, what did I do wrong? Oh, I didn't dodge. Huh? What was I supposed to press there? Oh, I didn't see the I didn't see the thing that came up. What do they want me to do? Swing the axe with F? She can't it she she can outrun a bear and she can apparently beat it in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Well, nice of the bear to leave us alone. It could have easily gone down there. <laughs> Lara, refusing to use the door again, I see. But it's faster this way, Dad. Come here, you little monkey. <laughs> that was such an English accent. Yes. <laughs> She's been watching too much Peppa Pig. <laughs> well, I've decided that I should be your assistant. Oh, have you? Well, there's no one I'd rather have by my side. What this business? Too dangerous. Lara, listen to me. Someday you're going to make such a mark on this world. You're going yeah, to make me I've made a lot of marks on the world from all the blood splatter I've oh, darling, I need left this. everywhere. There's no way I can fight in this condition. But herbs and cloth to create a healing salve, so now I'm infected probably. Those Can't run. The bleeding. Need some kind of bandage. <laughs> We're playing Resident Evil now, yeah. Got to get past that bear. Find a way to defeat the bear. Just leave it alone. Bears don't shouldn't attack you in general. I've seen a bear once. I walked through a po forest in Poland. It was a small bear, actually, but I mean, it was just walking, mind its, its own business, and it was a nature. It was a trail that people could just walk through. Find a magic fix it up. Be ready to fight more hordes of Z's. Yeah, actually, this this game actually has like one of the challenge maps, a zombie map, uh, where zombies are invading her her manor or something. Wait, now she can run and jump. I thought she was. Oh no, I healed.
this look? Mongolia. Is this where it was? Yeah, I think so. So the bear is here. So she wants poison arrows to poison the bear. Poor bear, come on. This game is not vegan friendly at all. So just invade its home and kill it. Whoops. First Tomb Raider had dinosaurs in it, that's true. Dinosaurs, aliens, wolves, bats, lions. Find cloth for the poison arrow upgrade, okay. Where do I get cloth? And I have two cloth already, where did I find that? I don't remember. There's cloth on those sticks. Can I not just take that cloth? Have I been misunderstanding this? Don't think so. Find cloth. Oh, it's telling me exactly where the cloth is. Okay. It's nice of them. Oops. Right here, okay. Might be able to make something with all this. Should head back to camp and try. Do I have to go back? Can't I just make a new camp here? This this area is clearly more lucrative. It has food and stuff. I think I'll finish soon. Maybe when I kill the bear, or just... Oh! Damn rabbit. Dang rabbit, dang rabbit. Come on, that was on target. Forget it. Home sweet home. A cloud of lethal poison? How does that make sense? They're mushrooms. This should just put it in your skin, not create a cloud.
Enemy gunfire melee attacks. Yeah, let's get that. Just bring the bear some fish. I'm sure he'll let us pass. No, you listen to me. This discovery is too important. I don't give a damn about my reputation. Now don't you dare threaten me. After everything I've done. Hello? Hello? Dad, what's happening? They're fools. You're scaring me. I'm close, Lara. Close to something important. Combustion shrooms, it's a new brand. <laughs> Why did they both just stand off like that? Why did nobody pick up their gun and shoot her if they wanted to? So that's how fast you can loot bodies. So what's the point in that upgrade which says it automatically loots bodies if you stealth kill them? Like that took me half a second. <laughs> Command, we're fanning out to pick up the trail. Roger that, but it looks like they've retreated. Primary objective is the Mushrooms, okay. Is he gonna move or what? Can I cut him down? Okay, I can shoot poison arrows.
Okay. There's one guy over there. This was a coordinated feint. They're trying to spread us out. You felt who fucked this up, son, peasant. How do I dismount? What do I press? C, apparently. Easy. We're gearing up. I was on the first flight to Siberia to secure the old Soviet installation. Now, more are arriving every minute. Constantine gave a speech to the new boots, and I stayed in the back. Die already. I'm under fire. Is he not dead? Alright, so what are these generators for? Do they just blow up or something? Okay. We have this. I suppose this can catch fire. Climb this. All right. Um. Oh, I see. Gather some mushrooms. So it was middle mouse button to... Yeah, let's climb this tree, because everyone knows bears can't climb trees, right? I should have brought the gas canister with me. 
Could have burned him. That's a horrible way to kill a bear. Too cramped to fight. Better to draw it out. How am I supposed to fight this thing? It's too strong. The gas, kept the poison didn't do anything. Am I actually supposed to fire arrows at him? It just stuns him. So should I actually be using... Just regular arrows to, to hurt him after I stun him? Uh oh. I didn't. There we go. So, okay, the poison does help, it just slows him down. That's a lot of bear fat. Bear hide, even. Full? I can actually be full? Okay. Can I... craft something with that? I don't think I need to be at a camp. Semi-auto pistol part. Right, yeah, because in these ancient tombs and these ancient caves, what do you expect to find in ancient boxes? Pistol parts. The fugitive prophet is crossed out of the Empire and now turns north. I'm now in... Unfamiliar territory.
On the, follow the Mongolian path and search for signs of the lost city. Okay. That was trick ice. Someone put it there to trick us. Damn it. Nineteen eleven just last thousands of years. Yeah. Uh, let's go up here. He's passed through the lands of the Rus. I cannot shake the feeling that he's taunting me. We. This is where I came from, isn't it? Okay. That's just how we get back. Shit. That's gonna be cold. Oh yeah. Looking forward to jumping into that. Looks like Mongol craftsmanship. Examine. I don't understand what it means by examine to find hidden details or something. I like how in games you can always see in perfect clarity underwater. Actually, whilst most of us can't see underwater, there are some people who are born with a genetic ability to see underwater. I think mainly in the, um, like, um... Uh, what is that race of people who live in the, um... Like the Pacific Islanders? Or, um... Some people can actually see perfectly underwater, like, as clear as above the water. Um, it's just a, like a, a genetic uh, quirk. Optional challenge tomb nearby. we're going to climb it aren't we and then it's gonna the moment we we grab onto it it's going to start falling and we're going to be racing up to climb it that's what's going to happen Oh, I see. You know what, I really need to finish the stream. So let's not start any challenge tomb or anything, let's just... Save it there. Fantastic. 
Ich will mich nicht mehr was ist ganz Zimmer. But she has like superhuman strength or something, so maybe she has really, really dense muscles. Maybe she weighs more. Okay, I'm going to finish that down. Friends scores. Helmark has this game on Epic, but I think she didn't play it originally on Epic. She played it on um, Steam. So I don't, I'm not going to see her. I don't care about scores anyway. And something bit me today, like a hornet or something. I was walking along the beach and I tried to take a shortcut through some bush area. Big mistake. There's some flying creature came out of the bush. It bit me on the back of my neck, and then it bit me on my finger. Really painful. Then it swelled up for a while, but now it seems to be okay. I was worried I'd have to cancel the stream because I can't, I couldn't move my finger. It was in a lot of pain, but it recovered in time. So yeah, the lesson is don't take shortcuts through the jungle. Just stick to the cleared paths. It's a speedboat going fast. Alright, well, Fox, I'll see you next time. Tomorrow I'll probably go back to playing the other game I was playing. What was it called? Seven Billion Humans. Alright, see you around.